the other car to swerve over and hit him straight on. So, I mean, this one car is smoking, it's starting to smoke really bad, and the guy's still pinned inside the car. He may almost like it in the passenger seat.
see if this is up closer to your vehicle. There's a lot more noise coming off this. Also, uh, you've got a little bit of the carbon monoxide that's coming off this that, that can cause some problems. Once the generator started, and, uh, then you still have to uh, advance your hoses and connect your tools. A great unit, but it, it is labor intensive and it is also uh, very time sensitive. Uh, we're preached to in the fire service all the time about the golden hour. That's the first hour after a car accident. If, if from the time of the accident from the time of dispatch is five minutes, and then we have a five minute response time, we're ten minutes into the golden hour before we even have a chance at the patient. Anything that we can do to help bring that time down and get that person to a level one trauma unit, I think is money well spent. Although this is a great unit, I believe the Liberator allows my guys to get there quicker and also to uh, perform faster and with a lot more reliability. On this, as long as the truck engine's running, the Liberator's ready to go. With this, I have to make sure that the engine's started on a regular basis and make sure that, uh, uh, God forbid, that it starts the day we need it. I know that if the truck's running, I've got a generator, and I've got the extra gate fluid available to me. So again, great piece of equipment. I just have to think the Liberator does.